He was out there when nobody else was doing this. This vast desert rimmed with mountains, baking and blasting heat, nature in the raw. And he'd be going off to do something that had never been done before. The most punishing test of man and machine in the history of the motor car. These were athletes like Muhammad Ali, like Babe Ruth. They have a talent. That's a tired man out there. For 17 hours, he's been at the wheel. And they are so, so much better than you or I. How fast will it go? That's what Ab wanted to know. How fast will it go? Another record fall. It took a kind of Superman. Never before has human beings such speed so long. His endurance was a completely different kind of thing. Ab Jenkins, gentlemen. He was just a guy that was a building contractor in Salt Lake trying to set some records. And he did a good job. And he became an idol. There is now a tremendous national interest in everything that Ab Jenkins does. This was a whole new frontier. I do so hope we should be successful. At a speed mark of over 300 miles an hour for Sir Malcolm Campbell. The most famous racing car of them all arrives at the track. This was such an awesome car and you're just awestruck by it. There's no other way to put it. Oh my God. <laughs> the fastest four-wheeled vehicle in the whole wide world. Well, that I'm glad you made it. Look at this tired old man. It was a good relationship. He's pushing his big car on faster and faster. And gosh, what courage we have seen. Courage of man and machine, driving everlastingly forward. And with full throated war, the joyous power, the race is on, with a checkered flag flying. Half Jenkins is off on another record-smashing race with time. And this man set more world-class records than any other human being. It makes you wonder, what was the fire burning inside of him? Here's that driving fool, still serene. He must be a man of steel. It just hasn't been done since Jenkins. It's more than a big sporting event. It's a walloping adventure to be living through. All right, I'm ready to go.